Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a special early access look at an update for a map. So Blackwater Bottoms is a really cool map that came out by Matt and the Shanty Boys um, on the Mod Hub for all platforms. Really cool map. Uh, actually made my top 10 uh, favorite maps because of how it was designed and honestly it has one of the coolest starting farms ever. But Matt has taken the time to do a complete rework of it and done a lot of different stuff to it and one of the first features i want to show off right away is when you go load up and have the map installed you have a couple options when you go to start a new game so first you have blackwater bottoms which just says welcome to blackwater bottoms blackwater bottoms is based loosely in the area i live in in johnson county missouri blackwater is a river that meanders its way through miles of low-laying farmland often surrounded by dense trees i've tried to recreate some of that in this map the map is one uh, farm with everything you need to become a successful and it trails off to farmer, I believe after that. But anyhow, then there's now a new part of the new update. There's a second kind of start here, Blackwater Bottoms Shanty Boys Challenge. Uh, so we're gonna continue from there and we are gonna start in uh, a new farmer mode. I'm just gonna deselect a few things here. So I'm gonna get that. I usually start with a few things just, just in case I ever want them. These are the things that, in case you're wondering, I always start every map with just when I'm doing my map tours. I don't leave put any of the DLCs or anything like that in there, just keep it as plain and simple. Uh, but so yeah, I'm gonna let this blow up. I'm gonna put a quick cut in here. Uh, watch it, I'll talk about a couple of the new features that we're gonna take a look at as we go through. So um, yeah, and also you wanted to say a special thank you to uh, Gaming Joy uh, for helping out with some of the new stuff in here. So there's new grass added to the map. Um, there's the additional game mode, which is the challenge map, which is based off of Rusty Money's Shanty Boy Challenge, which if you don't know who Rusty Money Gaming is, go check him out. I will link his channel down below in the description if I remember to, uh, but he is a fantastic friend of the channel and has a fantastic YouTube channel where he does a lot of different challenges and creative those. Um, he also added traffic and people into the map. There's a new bale storage, added water to all the ditches as well, and a new scenic backdrop. So um, that's just a few of the new things that are on here. So I'm going to take a look at this. I'm not sure when it's going to come out. Um, it failed testing the first time, which is not surprising. Most maps do. Honestly, most mods do. It's very rare for a mod to come out, but it should come out for all platforms. So we're going to go ahead and let this load up, and then we're going to take a look at some of the new features that we have here. All right, so we're on the map now. We're loaded in here. Um, now there is more help in terms of the uh, challenge if we go down to the in-game help menu. So uh, we should be able to go down. Ah, Shanty Boy Challenge. So here are the rules for the Shanty Boy Challenge. Um, in new farm mode, we've given you a full set of expected of the expected vehicles for this challenge. Feel free to replace the equipment with the brand of your choice within your current budget. In farm manager mode, you can pick your own equipment, but it must have the following. Tree harvester, harvester with both headers, header trailers, large tractor, medium tractor, tipper trailer, planter, cedar plow, and pickup truck. Start from scratch will be a real challenge with only land and a big loan. You'll need to work your way up to buying at a minimum the above equipment list by doing what you can to make money. Settings, so mods, cross-platform only, money mods, small value. Um, DLCs, yes, lease, borrow, yes, use collectibles, yes, you can, animal feed can be purchased. Rules, single or multiplayer, feel free to attack this challenge with friends. Uh, mode any economy normal all their settings your choice farmlands to help start everyone off and then again there's just there's just more detail here uh, challenge goal so stage one your goal for stage one is to build out your farm to achieve this to shanty boy standards the following are required two sheds one workshop silo beehive two greenhouses and all animal pens very cool step two your goal is to be considered complete for stage two you will be or in order to be completed here you have all animal pens filled to 50 percent capacity and have $500,000 or more in the bank and no outstanding loans. Stage three, your goal is to be considered complete for stage three will be all animal pens fill 100% capacity, 1 million or more in the bank and no outstanding loans. Stage four, your goal is to consider complete for stage four will be 2.5 million in the bank. So you're just trying to build up and this is a great way um, to kind of change things up a little bit for you if you're trying to change things up in terms of how you do things. So I like that that's an option. Now, if we take a look at the map on here, if you guys have not seen my a previous tour on this, you guys should go check it out. You can see we got all of our equipment over here at the store. And again, you can switch it out. That's why they left it at the store for you, um, which is really nice. And starting out, you do have this big chunk of peripheral land that allows you to mow and do your thing, but it's not worth anything. And then little piece of land there, little piece of land there. Those are all zero and this is zero. And this is zero, so you can't. And then all the other land is worth money. So all the things you start off with are worth zero dollars, which is great. So you can't make any money back uh, by selling stuff off, which is awesome. So a uh, very unique where it's kind of its own map in a lot of senses. Now, I am gonna load up in the other version of this so you can see what this looks like here, because this is typically the starting farm. And this is probably one of the coolest starting farms, I think, personally, in Farming Simulator 22. Uh, that's one of the main reasons that met my uh, top 10 maps on Farming Simulator 22 so far. So you got a beautiful entrance through here, custom log bridge done by the modders. Rocks through there, and you can see we got traffic on the roads now. 
Another little custom area right here. And then nice little farm sign right there. Love it. Uh, but yes, so this is kind of how that is all going to work for you. But what I am going to do, just so I can show you guys the challenge and how the things are a little bit different, and I think I... I apologize if I missed anything. Let's go over to the store and take a look at what you start off in the challenge. That's the other thing I wanted to take a look at here. So uh, we'll hop over there. As long as my... Yep, there it goes. As long as my game loads for me. So here's the stuff that they start you off with in the challenge mode. If you wanted to use what they recommend for it, you have all that. And that's going to be your pickup truck right there, which I love, or what they're counting for that. Uh, so there you go. You can have that. But the reason that's all down here is so you can kind of decide and pick and choose what you want to have. So you don't have to drive it back to the shop, depending on what uh, you're playing on. Uh, or anything like that so that's a nice feature there so yeah uh, sorry for the little cut there my computer is occasionally having some issues but uh there we go so that's just kind of take a look at it in challenge mode let's take a look at it in it's a uh, regular new farm mode because i want to also show that off to you guys for you guys that haven't seen that before so we've kind of taken a look at a lot of the new stuff here but let's go ahead and hop over to that so we can take a look at that all right here we are new farmer mode the original map so if you take a look, now we have some sheds around here, a lot of stuff, and you can sell all this off too, or customize the farm however you want. Obviously we have a lot of stuff going on here, but if you look at the map, we have, again, a lot of different animal pens, all sorts of stuff in terms of that. And now things are actually worth money, so you could sell that if you want, but um, totally up to you. And you start with some different chunks of land here and there, but everything's actually worth money. So you have a couple greenhouses down there in that little trunk. And I like that there's a little trunk there, and then you have some beehives there if you don't want them. Um, you can sell off the little chunk of land that they're on as well for $1,100 if you don't want that. Um, yeah, got a field right there, field right there, another field up there. It's starting, starting out. Those are your fields. Um, yeah, really good looking map, though. There's a lot of good fields. Most of these fields are completely worker friendly. If, if honestly, not all of them. I mean, maybe this one a little bit trickier, this one a little bit trickier, but... I mean, there are huge gaps around the edges of these fields intentionally so that way workers can work on them no problem. And if you want to do some forestry, you have a huge forestry area up here at the sawmill and carpentry point up there. And if you want to do horses, you have horses down there. All sorts of stuff. Everything you could ever really need, honestly, on a map. Um, let's keep walking around the starting farm for a little bit, and then we'll do a flyover. And again, I just, I've already done like a really in-depth view of this, uh, of this map. But I wanted to show off just some of the new features and kind of give you guys a reminder of what's on it. So... Uh, the shanty boys do really good work honestly they honestly do and they they have a, a website that has all their maps some of those are pc only some of those are on the mod hub um this is one again that's coming to the mod hub for all platforms but i will leave a link down below in the description to the shanty boys website but yeah really good starting farm area you can do honestly you could honestly put a lot of fields in here if you wanted to not maybe a lot but you could put a couple fields and rearrange this however you wanted to but um, let's go ahead and just hop into flight mode just so we can take a look here so again this is one of the coolest starting farms just because it's got the river going around you have a uh, bridge out the back side there and then you got a bridge out the front so you're just kind of isolated from everything else going on around you it gives you kind of the feeling that you're far away from everything which is really cool um i like it anyhow but uh yeah and starting fields you have this guy right here that one right just outside around the corner there and you got some greenhouses there that's the b plot right there and then again just over here you have this kind of strange shape field through here and you look at how much space is on the edges for the workers to be able to turn around and do what they need to do and you even have some grass equipment out here. I like this. I don't think this was here before in terms of everything. Um, no, there's no way I would have noticed that before. I don't remember that being there. But this is new stuff here and starting a new farmer mode. And what they're basically trying to say here is, well, you can mow all this grass. You own all the grass on the map, so you might as well mow it. And you can make silage off it, make a lot of money doing your thing. And there's new grass on the map, so there's kind of the new grass texture, which honestly looks really good with the map. Uh, but yeah, Matt, well done. There's Oh, I love the wa Look at that water shade. I actually really like that in the ditches there. I actually really like that. It looks pretty realistic in terms of that. So that's cool. I like that. Little trailer park through here. You got yourself cell points, bowling alley right there. I would love to live here and be that close to a bowling alley. I'd walk over there all the time. Uh, but anyhow, um, yeah, everything you could ever need. And there's a there should be a PGA right here. Uh, in terms of where where are we at? Good lord, I'm lost already. Oh, right here. Yeah. So we have obviously with the oil mill right here. But if we purchase this chunk of land right here for only eight grand, we should now have the BJ on there. Which if we go in. We now can do whatever we want with the BGA, which is super cool. So I like that. Very cheap BGA, especially if you're doing grass work. You can make some silage and then get that rolling through there and make a lot of money doing that. But uh, a new scenic background. I didn't even really look around at that, but it looks great. I like the mountains kind of in the background. I think that they blend in pretty good. Um, so that's pretty cool. I like that. This little setup out here. This is your horses, isn't it? Yeah, horses down here. I mean, it looks great. Looks great. And you have the little rock area over here. Would you go over? Let's take a look at this here. Um, big kind of rock formation. 
free to kind of explore if you'd like to or do whatever you want to. You can see that there's kind of a tunnel down in there, and then there's this guy around the side. Let's go ahead and just uh, top out of flight mode to take a look here. Let me get out of my super speed here. We should be able to go up this way, maybe, if I don't get stuck here. Perfect. Work our way up to the top. And there we go. If we want to, we can drop down, I think, into this pit, potentially. Maybe not that pit. I wanted to see what was in this little area over here. It almost kind of seemed like a, yeah, like a tunnel or something. I'm very curious now. Got my exploration going. Might be easier if I was in flight mode to find it again. There we go. Drop down in this little pit. Oh, we can get in right here. I think I'm in here. You got a tree in here. And oh, look at this. This is beautiful. I love this. This is a pretty cool setup. I like the little whirlpools. Kind of gives you the feeling that it's just like a spring that's happening with the water and everything like that. And that looks, that water looks great. It looks fantastic down here. And again, I probably have seen all of this again in the previous version of it, but I wanted to point out some of the key features and some of the cool things that are on there. Uh, but yeah, this is an absolutely fantastic map. So I think with that, guys, you just got to go download it and check it out. This is perfect. Do the challenge if you want to, or if you don't, if you just want to hop on this map, because it's a great looking map, you can do that as well. Look, traffic's doing its thing. I love it. It's fantastic. Really well done. I think that this is a really cool map, and I'm glad I got an update. So... Uh, well done, Matt, getting this thing updated in Shanny Boys. Well done. This is fantastic. But there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.